Hey everyone, Fair Aziz Prudence here. I haven't made a video in a long time, but I was just reading up and watching some videos on the new shooting in Ohio. A police officer shot a 16 year old girl. Uh, her name was Makia. I hope I'm saying that right. And <clears throat> it is a sad, sad day when a 16 year old girl takes out a knife to go stab another girl. Um, and, a, and then to make it even worse, a police officer shows up there's several people hitting each other. Um, the, the 911 call said that there's people trying to stab other people. And he shows up. He's trying to tell everybody to get down, stop, get away. And nobody's listening. And she takes out her knife. You can see clearly see this in the video. She takes out her knife. She's about to stab another girl. And he shoots her. He shoots four shots. And her mother comes out, and I understand she's grieving the death of her daughter, and her mother and her family come out. She was sweet, she was humble, she was loving. There's no sweet, humble, loving person that tries to stab another person, especially after the police show up, especially knowing that that other girl was not a threat to her at the time. Get out of here. Stop your bitching and complaining. I have so had it with this crap. I have had it. I've come from the Middle East, okay? I grew up in the Middle East where black people are still called Abid, slaves. They're still treated, not even as second class citizens, okay? There are still black slaves in the Middle East. The estimates are in the millions when you're looking at Muslim countries. What are you complaining about? I am looking around. There are black people who are thriving. They're millionaires. They're excelling in sports. They're excelling in entertainment. They're excelling academically. There are so many examples of amazing black people like Dr. Ben Carson, who I have the utmost admiration and love for. He's actually my number one pick for president. Um, <clears throat> I only voted Trump to keep Clinton out. And I'll admit to that. And I like the policies that Trump put in. I, w I voted for him again the second time. But I look around and they are complaining. And these people are burning down cities and burning down the country. And right now, the Jihadi magazine I just read from the Clarion Project is telling jihadis to infiltrate the protests. You think this is a civil matter? This is not a civil matter. When you have people like Linda Sarsour, Rashida Talib, Ilhan Omar, all of them saying defund the police, why do you think that is? They love nothing more than unarmed Americans. And do you think when the Muslim Brotherhood starts shooting, when ISIS starts shooting, when any jihadi Muslim starts shooting, they're gonna think, is this white or black? They don't care. They don't care. They see Americans. Get it together. Get it together. Because the only enemy we have is not each other. I'm brown. I'm not even in the middle of this. The only enemy that we have is not Americans. Well, I should say not proud Americans. Because Rashida Talib and Ilhan Omar are apparently American. Our enemies are taking advantage of this. The world is looking and not only laughing, but asking, what are you complaining about? Just yesterday, I was sitting down with a friend of mine who's from Belize, and she looked at me and she said, what are they complaining about? She's seen real racism. I've seen real racism in other countries where just because you're black, just because you're brown, like you're Pakistani or you're Indian, you don't get the rights as other citizens. In the United Arab Emirates, I watched as a local Emirati person from the UAE got out of his car, went to a Pakistani car driver, he might have been Indian, pulled him out of the car, slapped him across the face, put him back in the car. Do you think he could have gone to the police? No, he couldn't have gone to the police. You know why? Because he's brown, he's Pakistani, he's Indian. That is real racism. Now, don't get me wrong, just because I'm saying <clears throat> there's no real systematic racism here doesn't mean there aren't racists. Of course there are racists. There will always be racists on this side of heaven. Just like there will always be thieves. 
Just like there will always be liars, there will always be cheaters, there will always be killers. But is America racist? Are our laws racist? The only system that is racist and meant to put the black people down is the welfare system. The school system that does not allow schools that are in inner cities that are majority black to be shut down when they are failing schools. It does not allow black parents to send their children where they want to send them to get a good education. These are the real systematic racism issues that are in America. But let me tell you something. Your 16 year old is out there acting like a thug. Then that's what happens to her when the police show up. And that's unfortunately what should happen because she's about to stab somebody else. All right. Don't show me pictures of 17 year olds holding guns, um, posing gang signs, and then coming out later after they get shot saying, oh, they were so sweet. I just remember him being kind and loving. I don't care if you're black, white, brown, yellow. You act like a thug, you go down like a thug. The real issue is, why didn't their parents raise them better? Why can't black parents send their kids to better schools where they get an education instead of being caught up in games and being caught up with other low lives that are just using them to further their own cause. That's the real question. You wanna get rid of black people getting killed by the police, which by the way is a much lower rate than whites get killed by the police? You wanna do that? How about you put the fathers back in the homes? Because the science that the left loves the science is out. The science has told us that when you have a fatherless home, higher rate of going to jail, higher rate of crime, higher rate of these kids stepping out on their own families, higher rate of poverty, higher rate of having children out of wedlock. How about that? Why don't we encourage the black family to get back together instead of tearing them apart through the stupid welfare system? How? How about we take money that's supposed to go to libraries that are putting out drag queens and we put that towards scholarship for any scholarships for inner city kids. How about that? BLM, <clears throat> Ami um, just put out a video where some BLM protesters are saying that <laughs> they think that they should probably just go out and start killing white people. Some people are talking about a civil war. You know who talks about war and gets excited about it? People who have never been to war. I have. I wasn't on the front lines, but I've been to war. I was in Iraq. And let me tell you, liberty at all costs, not peace at all costs, but liberty at all costs. Am I ready to defend my family? Hell yes, I am. Do I want it to get down to that? Hell no, I do not. This is American blood. I don't want to see it spilt. I don't care white, black, red, yellow, brown, whatever color you are. I don't want to see the blood spilt. I want to see Americans living free. I want to see Americans acting, acting with dignity, acting like the people they're supposed to be acting like. People in Hong Kong, people in the Middle East, people in Africa, in every oppressed place, look towards America as a model of what liberty looks like. And this is what we've done with it. 15 year olds, 16 year olds, 17 year olds acting like thugs. People tearing down their own cities, burning down businesses that are owned by who, by the way? By minorities too. What are you talking about? You want justice? You don't want to have racism? Well, guess what? When you act like a thug and when you go out and you burn your city and your town, the real racists like the KKK and the white supremacists, guess what you're doing? You're just reaffirming their beliefs. That's all you're doing. This is why the greats like Dr. Martin Luther King, he held himself in high esteem and man, when he walked, when he talked, Everything that he spoke of, he demanded and earned respect. He treated himself with respect. He looked at himself. He didn't say, my culture is acting in a, in a certain way or not speaking well 
or acting like thugs. That's not black culture. That's a lie that the KKK and the white supremacists love to spread around. That's not black culture. When I think about black culture, I think about Dr. Martin Luther King. I think about Ben Carson. I think about <clears throat> uh, people that I have met. One of the guys that I have met actually dated. Um, his grandfather was one of the first black pilots in the military. He carried himself with class, with dignity. And I can't help but even smile when I talk about these people. These are Americans. These are amazing Americans that have contributed endlessly to our country and to our culture. It is heartbreaking to watch what's happening. It is heartbreaking that a 16 year old girl died because she wasn't taught any better. She wasn't taught the value of life. She wasn't taught to act with dignity and with class. She wasn't taught to fear God and to act in love towards other people. The left wants to remove God from the country, but wants people to start acting like they're God-fearing people. Guess what? That doesn't work. You can't let the devil halfway in. Enough is enough. I don't want to see 16-year-olds dying, so let's fix it. Let's fix it. Let's put the family back together. Let's get opportunities for minorities and for inner city kids that are by the way been run by democrats for a very long time let's give them opportunities to go to good schools let's get them scholarships let's give them good role models to look up to let's bring back real pride into american schools let's bring back real pride and class into our into our society into our culture it amazes me the amount of people that i have met that, you know, I, I lived in the South and some of the, I mean, this is a, a very small, a small percentage of black people that I have met that didn't speak well, didn't carry themselves well, just were obnoxious in the way they carried themselves. Like, this is my culture. This is not your culture. This is a lie that the Democrats have sold you, that the left, the communists, the Marxists have sold you. This is not your culture. You are children of fighting people who got their liberty, who wanted to be equal. Equal, not less, not given handouts, but equal. This is all I have to say. Leave me a comment, let me know what you think. I hope you guys are blessed. I pray for our country and I pray for our people. And I'll see you guys later.